I just want to welcome you all again for joining me here on Prophetic Diary. Hello to my subscribers and welcome to my first time visitors. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, please do so. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that I can go live. I've never went live on video, so it'll be our first time meeting each other. And I think that will be really great. Um, so I do have a beautiful word from you guys. So let me just get into prayer. Father God, I come to you and I thank you so much for this time and this opportunity to come before my brothers and my sisters, Father. I pray that I decrease and you increase, Father, and that they find exactly what they came looking for when they clicked on this video today, Father God. I pray in Jesus name. Amen. So I'm going to my video. This video will be a little longer than usual. I hope not. I'm going to try to keep it under five minutes, but I I. I have a lot to say today. Um, like I told you, when I started this video, I mean, started this channel, I did not expect for it to take off. It took off very quickly in two weeks. I've only had this channel for two weeks and a lot comes with it. And I love it. The comments, the subscribers and everything. But with that comes, you know, I believe warfare, but the warfare that I'm experiencing now, I don't think that is connected to me starting this channel and the enemy not liking the lives that's being changed through it. I think that my warfare or what I'm feeling now is a, a place of God humbling me to prepare me for what he's about to do. And I believe that same thing is going on with many of you. We are acting like children. We're going before God. God, when are you going to do it? God, look at my resume. God, I did this right. I did that right. I, I fast for three days. I, I pray for my brothers and my sisters. I didn't argue with that family member that I can't stand. We're giving God our resume and we're telling him, okay, look, God. Yeah, I look, God, I, I stopped going to the clubs. I stopped doing this. I'm ready for marriage. I, you know, I'm not talking back. I'm not being disrespectful to people anymore. I fix my mouth. I fix my tongue. Okay, I'm ready for marriage, God. And I think we're pulling out our resume and we're looking at it. And then we're looking at the clock, you know, waiting for God to come through and answer our prayers because we think it's time or we said so. But I'm looking at Job. I'm going to read from Job 315, 315 today. And it says, though he slay me, yet will I wait. Though he slay me, I will hope in him. Because that's who we trust in, right? And Job had no clue that God and the enemy was in heaven going back and forth about his life. You know, they're going back and forth about Job's life. Job is now making millions of dollars, you know, being a good man, helping out the community, to take care, good care of his home and his kids and his workers. And they're up in heaven talking about, I bet if I take all this stuff, he ain't going to love you, God. And God's like, oh, I bet he do love me. Go ahead. I'm going to let you take it. Job had no clue. And that's many of us. We're down here. And like I said, we're, we're doing the work on the Lord. We're loving on the Lord. We're fasting. We're, you know, we're turning away from our old ways. We're killing our fat flesh. We're slaying giants. And God is in heaven making all these plans for our life that we know nothing about. He's like, okay, I'm allowed this to happen to her. That a lot to happen to her. That to happen to him. This to happen to him to get him to his spouse, to get her to that job she want. But we have no clue about these things. So we're here on earth looking at the clock. You know, it's like when you go to the hospital to see a sick loved one and you're waiting in the waiting room to hear the news and you're waiting, you're looking at the clock, you're pacing the floor, you're waiting. And that's where we're at. We're waiting on the Lord. And I know Job was probably waiting like, hold on, I got all these boils. God, you done came through many times and I'm still not healed. And you don't, oh, my children are dead. My money's gone. Like just waiting for the Lord to bring that deliverance, you know, but he had the faith to say, though they slay me, yet will I wait, you know, and, and that's where we got to be like, you know what? Yes, I'm ready to get married. Yes, I want that financial blessing to come through for my business. Yes, I want that new car, that new job, that new house. I want a new life. Yes, I want children, whatever you guys are believing for. Yes, I want that, but yet will I wait? I whether wait for the Lord to give it to me. And I'm talking to y'all like my friends. That's how I talk to my friends. <laughs> I rather the Lord give it to me than me run out and get it myself because I ran out and got it myself in the past and it didn't last. It's just like you need a new car and God telling you to wait. 
and you're like, no, but I got, I got a good down payment. Yeah, the car be a high mileage car. It might not last me more than three years, but I'm going to just run out and get this. And God is saying, well, I got one with zero mileage. If you just wait two weeks for me to meet, let you meet the individual that's going to bless you with God. But we get so ahead of God. So needless to say, where we're petitioning to God and we're praying to God and he hears our prayers. He knows our prayers. He sees our distress. He knows what we want. But he is the he 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 puts together this masterpiece. He's a master. He is the king of kings, the Lord of lords, the all-knowing God. He is the man, okay? I don't, you don't play with the man. You know what I mean? It's like you're in the house. You don't play with the man of the house. Okay, God know what he's doing with your life. Okay, just like they was talking over Job's life. He's talking over your life. He's allowing things to happen to make you a better person, to give you the blessings that he want to give you. End of story. He's doing the same thing for your spouse. And that's just it. But it gets hard to wait when your, your bills are piling up. It gets hard to wait when you've been single 10 years and Joe Schmo calling your phone and you got a black little black book that you can dial. It's hard to wait on the Lord when, you know, your kids is out of control and your, your baby father. I mean, let's get real here. We got some real issues going on, you know, so I understand that it gets it, it, it gets hard. But. I do believe, and I maybe I'm only speaking for myself, the Lord does give us little glimpses of grace. He gives us little glimpses of where we're going. He gives us dreams. He gives us vision. He gives us the word. He gives us YouTube videos, videos that give us that little glimpse that he's going to come through because we can fill in in our spirits. And I want to say a quick prayer and then I'm going to go. But I just pray that this word encourage you and we're going to keep on waiting on the Lord no matter how tough it gets because he's coming through. Don't give up. Don't walk away. Don't turn away. Don't get frustrated with him. Give it over to God. Stop looking at the situation and look at the man who can change it. Look at the one who can change it, which is our God. Father God, I thank you so much. I bring my brothers and my sisters before you in the name of Jesus, Father God. I pray for your presence, Father God, to fall on them right now, Father God, to come in and comfort them and give them understanding, Father God, and shed light on that dark place, Father God, that is feeling like the worst thing in the world, Father God, that is piercing their side, Jesus. It's causing them, their flesh to get frustrated, Father God, and their emotions, their feelings are all out of whack, Father God. But I just pray for them now, Father God, that you would send to them, Father God, a comfort, a spirit of peace, Jesus, a spirit of understanding, Father God, that surpasses all knowing, Father God. We love you, Father God. We trust in you. We wait on you, Father God. And we know that you promised us, Father God, an acceleration, Father God. So we humble ourselves before you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you in advance for what's already done, Father God, and all the wonderful things that you're working out for us that we have no clue about. We thank you in advance for those those blessings as well, Father God. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. So brothers and sisters, I hope this video uh, was not too long and I hope that it blessed you. But um, like Job said, don't they slay me yet while I wait. Have a great day. God bless.